वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट लेसन इन दी सर्च कंसोल मॉड्यूल इन योर एस ओ मास्टरी कोर्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव अ लुक एट क्रॉल सेक्शन ऑफ सर्च कंसोल सो इन साइड दी क्रॉल सेक्शन द फर्स्ट थिंग इज क्रॉल एयर्स सो इफ एट ऑल गूगल इज ट्राइंग टू क्रॉल अ पर्टिकुलर वेब पेज ऑफ यूर्स एंड इफ इट इज नॉट लोडिंग और इफ दी वेब पेज इज लैंडिंग इन अ फोर ओ फोर एयर वेयर नॉट फाउंड देन बेसिकली यू विल बी एबल टू सी दोज यू आर्स हियर you can see that in the past my 404 errors have reduced so right now i have just one error and sometimes what happens is that google just uh, gets confused with some random url and says that it's not accessible so here you can just click on mark as fixed and then uh, just leave it at it so you will have a few urls which will have errors always uh, because uh, it could be something like a you know parameter added to a particular url or something like that so you can just click mark as fixed so this section is just to let you know from google side that there are these errors on your website go and fix it and then there is something called crawl stats so crawl stats basically uh, shows you how frequently google is coming and crawling your uh, site so here there is not much uh, insights to go ahead and find out so here also basically it says that if your page load speed becomes slow then this will go up so right now i had installed some extra modules on my blog such as opt in chat so here you can see it has gone up a little bit but otherwise there is nothing to be really concerned if at all you don't see any activity here that's why that's when you need to be concerned so we have already seen fetch as google how to get your websites indexed and then you have uh, robots.txt tester so if you don't want your website to be indexed on the search engines then you can create a robots.txt file which tells the search engine don't index my site but since this entire course is about learning how to get indexed and ranking higher i will not talk about it there is no point in it but if at all you don't want your uh, search engines to come and index your site you can just go inside wordpress settings click on an option which tells don't allow search engines to index my site and your site will not be indexed then we have site maps inside the crawl area so this is also something that you might have learned in the free digital marketing course so site map is basically a page which contains links to all the other pages in your website and if you submit a site map you will be able to see what what is the list of websites that you have on your site map uh, so how how many of them have indexed and how many of them have submitted so usually you will not have 100% success rate here so here you can see i have submitted 178 urls but only 174 urls have been indexed so once in a while what will happen is that google will go ahead and try to index a particular page but then this page is loading very slowly or the host server is not responding properly so what will happen here is that it will show you some warning so here you can see there is a high response time so or here it will share that some of them are unreachable so i have talked with my web host as well regarding these errors and if if they go ahead and check these urls it's loading fine so google webmaster again is not a 100% accurate tool uh, the search engine and the spiders behave in a very different way so here also the small errors is something that you can ignore and then you have something called url parameters so here i have added this particular parameter to be um, excluded which means that whenever someone adds a comment on in my website uh, there will be a link uh, which is generated with a extra url parameter called reply to com but again this is something that you can ignore and you should not be worried unless the parameter is creating a lot of duplicate pages in general in most of the cases if you are using uh, wordpress then there is really no issue or uh, really nothing to worry nothing to be worried about your url parameters so that's about it for the, for the crawl section in the google search console module and uh, thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next lesson